Moore's Law provides um, half of, the, uh, of, of a plausibility argument for why it's reasonable to think that uh, we may get superhuman intelligence. Um, the other part of it is pointing to uh, the, the fact that, that some of the fundamental problems about intelligence we can see that nature has solved. You know, there's three of us here uh, standing that each have 100 billion processors or so that's, that somehow, somehow work together to produce very sophisticated behavior. But the gap there, and the reason why skepticism is still very reasonable, is that Moore's Law provides an argument for, for estimating what sort of computational power is available. Uh, there's still the question whether we can figure out how to put that computational power together in such a way that it produces these evident examples. Thank you.